Hello everyone, uh, welcome to No Man's Sky. So, um, last video I made was, I know for Space Engineers, this is going to be kind of a leap or a jump here. I really do apologize. Um, so essentially what ended up happening, uh, so Space Engineers has released a few updates recently. Um, they've gotten it to run really good. For some reason on my desktop gaming computer, it's always ran really bad and it actually still runs better on my laptop for some reason. I just can't afford to play on my computer and record at the same time. So I'm still trying to figure out why it's not running properly and trying to do things that I'm doing right now in Space Engineers on my computer just it seems really impossible right now. It's always lagging, it's always slow. No matter what updates they are releasing, it's just still slow. So if the big hangar I built, trying to build a space elevator seems kind of impossible right now. So I decided I'd take a break from Space Engineers and jump to No Man's Sky. Um, now that like we've actually gotten some decent updates for the game, um, it seems really worthwhile to actually get into it now and uh, actually like show people what No Man's Sky is actually about and uh, get some gameplay footage and all that stuff. So I hope you guys will be enjoying this. I'm going to be starting like a kind of a season. Um, I'm going to be doing creative at first. I'm pretty sure like you know, game style, certain technology and building costs. So I'm pretty sure like you get like you don't get any achievements, which uh, sucks, but I already have some of them. Um, but I'm pretty sure they still have like the new 30 hours of campaign, which is one of those things they added in the new Atlas update. But I'll put more details in that in the description. So we're just going to start from scratch. So this is the one I played very recently when uh, the Atlas update came out. I just wanted to try it out, see how it is. And then I'm going to discard this. Sayonara. Alright, I'll show you your current save data will be permanent lost. Bye bye. I mean, I didn't have much done in this one, anyways. So, we're gonna start a new creative game. And we'll go along with it. Now, you might see this part of the game loading lag a little. For some reason, I don't know why they never got this to work properly. It's always lagging when we're going through this galaxy or universe, if you wanna call it that. Um, it's just always lagging for some reason, so. Enjoy the uh, very low frame rate for some reason. I wish it would run smooth, it'd be so beautiful and nice. It'd be way nicer. But yeah, so let's talk a bit about the Atlas update. Um, essentially, they released, uh, didn't release any new vehicles as far as I know. They did, were doing some patching, and I think they've added a slight version of co-op gameplay, I think, if I'm correct. I skimmed through the details for the update a little quickly. Um, like I said, be putting more of that in the description for the video. Um, like I said, I'll be making like a short season for this, at least minimum five episodes, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Only wish Space Engineers would have ran better, but you know, games really hard on the computers no matter what. They still need to do a lot of optimizations for that game. Unlike this game, when it first came out, I was able to play this on my laptop, my gaming laptop, with an 850M GTX uh, video card, which a lot of people were very surprised because they had full-fledged gaming desktops and they couldn't even start the game. I find it very hilarious. Like, I did find it very hilarious because I had a lot of friends who had that issue. And I was like, well, I guess having the newest stuff isn't always the best thing, right? Since my like, gaming laptop was like two years old. So... Actually, it was two and a half, because I got it before college. So, back to the beginning, I find it very funny that my gaming laptop was able to run this game when it first came out. But now, it actually runs decently better on these desktop computers now. Like, right now, this is my desktop, desktop oh, like gaming computer with the i7-7700K, 32 gigs of RAM, um, the uh, GTX 1070 Extreme Gaming by... Uh, Gigabit, I believe? Yeah, gigabit. So we got all that in there. I'm running a triple monitor gaming setup, although I'm only using my middle one for gaming and then my two other ones for multitasking, such as uh, keeping tabs on tracking stuff and stuff like that. So, hello, here we are. 
See, right now I'm running really nice uh, above 70 frames per second, and I'm recording this at, if I'm correct, 1080p, I think. I don't know how I feel about this design for a plane. I don't know. There's also new controls. Uh, That's not what I wanted to do. You can like literally spawn it right here. Or you can go in photo mode, which I've already posted a couple pictures on my... Uh... Wait. What is this? New plant life? Oh yeah, that's right. They added a lot of uh, plant life. No. Not what I wanted to do. change sign. There we go. See, these are kind of things I really like about the game now. Bam. Like, this is just beautiful photos. Look at this. Enough about that. Oh, wrong. How do I... Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, so I actually do still come back here. Nice. So, we got our plane here. So they did fix the trailing on this. Before, you would see like the whole flame trail no matter what, if you're in it or not. Uh, when the game originally came out, I don't know if they fixed it in their second patch with all the vehicles or not, but there we go. Yes, thank you. Habitable base. Okay, so what are we doing? Current home planet on set. Construction terminal not found. A science terminal not found. Yada yada yada. Claim home planet. Awesome. Uh, let's go with Scimitar. Scimitar is a name I use for a lot of things. Um, for those of you who know Star Trek, you will know what this is. It should be named Scimitar now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Scimitar down here. So as you can see, again, it runs really nice. Get out of there. There we go. Yeah, right now I'm running at like 80, 80, 84 frames. And what are you doing on my base, you mofo? I didn't say that. What is this? Previous base item cache. Oh, so you can just dump stuff in here and just like a black hole. Awesome. Uh, camera there. Nothing here. I don't know. Yeah, let's get back out here. See, I like creative mode because you can just do things like this. Uh, let's get a good look. Lay of the land here. Got a lot of room back here. What if I remove this entry? Got vehicles. Uh, you know what? I like this. Oh, you know what? Actually. I'm going to add this. And then, I'm going to put this. Or... Another one of these. And... One of those! There we go, that looks really nice, actually. I like that. Uh, how do I exit? Right, like that. from scratch with this stuff. Wow, that's very intense. Lighting, awesome. Farming, tech, decoration, room parts, ladder.
Bam. God, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way of actually going around that or make, like, actually exit this. Oh, this looks really nice. This is water? Kind of. Wow. Nice. I like the view. Oh, crap! Ow, that hurt. Actually, I'm curious. Ships there. Let's go exterior and do some external modifications. Now the holograph door, which allows quick access to any structure while regulating the temperature. See, I like this more than that. See, I don't like this. Control for delete. No. I just want to get rid of the door. Oh, can you change the material? No, that didn't work. Oh, well then. Uh, let's see. place my home. Trying to find a landing pad. I seem to be blind. Wait, wait what is this? Available ornament, beautiful air base. I don't need that. Definitely not. I like this. I find it very much more uh, beautiful. Actually, if my ship wasn't in the way, I'd be able to do the same thing here. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly move this out of the way. Oops. I haven't flown in a while. Oh god, a little too high. Hey, what's that? Right there. Awesome. Although I do not want this door. Um, right. Oh, that's right. That's one of the new things they added. Right.
shield station. A low amount of module that can be used to recharge shields. Awesome. Health. Actually. Definitely not. Did I? I did not put you there. Okay, I can't. I need to figure out this delete thing. Control is to delete. Oh. Wait, did it, did it delete? Yes, it should have. Yes. I don't want to delete this. Ah, wait, there we go. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Awesome. Okay, back here. Now, what is it that I wanted to do? Uh, let's see here. One place. Oh, I can't put this on here. Seriously? What is this blue thing? What is this? Some kind of radiation shield? actually attract players as well. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to do what I was going to do originally. I am going to extend. So this guy's circling, so he's looking for a place to land. I'll give him a nice place to land. It's going to be a very decent build, I'd say. Uh, where am I going here? Structure. Small lag there, but nothing major.
pressing R to rotate, but it's not rotating. Ugh, I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, I don't like that. Is this? Ah, so let's take a look at these. Radiation protection stabilizing. Actually, before I do anything else, I'm actually going to uh, put a Nope, definitely not. Permanent beacon here. Put a safe point here. And single booster here. Let's look for a other Habitable base. Oh, wow, but seriously? Damn you. See, that's more interesting. Hey, there's another base right there. <laughs> um, I'd probably say it's just fly to it since it's probably very far away. Or actually, we can take this little guy for a ride. But first. Get around to that. Uh, I think let's go over here. Oh! Let's switch. Thing's pretty robust, honestly. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, that's not happened. Imagine if we built an underground base that actually led to the main structure there. That'd be awesome. This guy, and let's go check out that ruin. Actually, I might stop here on the way. Yeah, we'll see it on our way back. What I do every time, I'm going to try to find a portal to be able to link this planet to others. ridiculously far away. Alright, let's go up again.
There we go, I think we found it. It's just interesting how one set of planets like really barren and this side's like oh, actually it's starting to form up like the rest. So that's what they're doing now, they're adding distortion slowly, just so they can help create the atmosphere and the planet surface. There we go, find ourselves a portal. Taking a picture of this, guys. This is slightly blurring it. There we Activate this and let's go. Activate the portal. Let's actually take a look at the picture. I wonder if I can actually dial my own home address. Uh, that's gonna be hilarious. I know I've been recording for a while now, but oh well, this is actually worth it. Especially this like traveling. What does this one look like? I'm trying to find it here. This one? Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. like start it all over again. The funny thing is I've probably just created a portal back to here.
back. <laughs> Although my plane's gone. I like this. I really do. This is like really one of my favorite things. Is that I always wanted to do like live clip, like RP of like Stargate. Like this is just the epitome of Stargate. This is just awesome. Go back in. Well, would you look at that? So that's slightly glitchy. Back on the same planet, by the way. See how all that stuff's still here? There you go. Can I turn this thing off now? I feel like this thing's just chewing up a power. That's slightly glitchy, and I'm sure it'll fix that eventually. Okay, so that was that. I'm actually gonna do a quick search and see if I can find an address or something. I know the address home. Um, let's see here. Uh, no man's sky. Date. Addresses. Portal locations. Let's see here. So 
do is just plan out of marked locations. I'm trying to find one. They try to get an address. Let's see if those works. I didn't give them an address. Oh boy. It's just telling me to walk to it. Alright, let's go. Hallelujah. me here. that to like kind of reset.
I'm here, then where is the portal? Sorry, little guys. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. Oh, you're a big one.
just going to go back to the base here and just land and just leave it be, I guess. And then on the next video, I'll try to find that portal again and actually try to dial a random address. Because, like, for some reason, it just kept wanting to dial the home address that I put into it for its own gate. I'm just going to call it a gate because it's kind of like a stargate. So I'll just do that. Much faster than before. There we go. Try to find that artifact again. If it'll let me find the same one. Well, I guess we'll leave it at that, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little, little <laughs> escapade that I took you guys on. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, have fun.